I gave a talk uh, yesterday in a course all about refractory migraine, and my topic was defining refractory migraine um, and and how to maybe conceive of it and categorize it among other types of headaches. And uh, uh, I began by discussing the the word itself, refractory, and uh, bringing up some other possible words that could be used like intractable or severe or uh, treatment resistant. And uh, then I moved into a little bit of history about what refractory headache is. And the the concept actually, if, if, if you don't know much about this topic, the concept is that there are some people, uh, and especially people with migraine, who despite all typical interventions and behavioral changes, lifestyle modifications, just do not get better. And uh, the, the lingering question is whether to see this group of people as a distinct group and therefore perhaps um, um, be able to study it better and um, devise treatment that would be um, better, more specific. Uh, so the the uh, there is a special intersection at the American Headache Society devoted to this topic, and uh, a working group from this special interest section came up with a definition that has to do with f- uh, failure to respond to a certain number of preventive medications and a certain number of acute medications. And uh, we propose to validate this and test it and uh, further refine it. There are a number of ways one could think about how to define uh, refractory, uh, refractory headache, refractory migraine, and and there has been some debate. Is for example, uh, the debate has centered uh, in some at some times around how many treatments are required for the patient to have failed uh, to be called refractory. Uh, the European Headache Federation has actually recently defined it as having to fail all treatment options preventively, and we in the special interest section decided that was too rigorous. Uh, too too uh, demanding, so uh, uh, we have a lower number, and uh, we're working right now uh, to get funding for a research study to uh, to validate this definition. Um, the uh, uh, the other sources of controversy um, have to do with whether or not medication overuse headache is included in this definition whether disability is included, whether we just want to focus on uh, frequency of headaches or failure to respond to medications uh, and which medications. So there there are a lot of things to be ironed out, uh, but I think uh, uh, those of you who are interested in the topic, uh, please stay tuned. You'll see more about it.